Russia is plundering Ukraine's natural resources by Eugen Thais, DW. Eugen Thais reports on Russia's exploitation of Ukraine's valuable natural resources, particularly iron ore, coal, and other minerals. Before the conflict, Ukraine was a significant producer of high-quality iron ore, exporting a substantial amount to neighboring countries. However, the situation changed drastically in 2022 when Russian forces occupied key mining regions, leading to the seizure of Ukrainian and foreign investors' property and the redirection of these resources to Russia. This occupation has led to a nearly 60% drop in metallurgy ore exports, resulting in a significant impact on Ukraine's steel production. The report highlights Russia's motive to weaken Ukraine's economic potential by either seizing resources or destroying them through shelling. Even though Ukraine's largest iron ore deposit remains under its control, the region faces consistent shelling from Russian-controlled territories, hindering its operations. The strategic importance of these resources is evident in Russia's push to control them, aiming to undermine Ukraine's industrial competitiveness and portray the country as economically dependent. The control over Ukrainian coal deposits is also a crucial aspect of Russia's strategy. The occupation of regions with 80% of Ukraine's coal reserves, including high-energy density anthracite coal, forces Ukraine to import coal at a higher cost due to Russian control of Black Sea ports. This blockade necessitates resource imports through countries like Poland and Romania, adding to logistical challenges and undermining Ukraine's economy. This tactic aligns with Russia's aim to weaken Ukraine and position it as a failed state. The report points out that Russia's invasion was driven by its desire to gain control over Ukraine's natural resources, echoing a pattern seen in its foreign policy actions elsewhere. The Kremlin's interest in African resources through mercenary groups like Wagner highlights its pursuit of essential materials such as gold, diamonds, lithium, and rare earths. Additionally, the European Union's strategic partnership with Ukraine, aimed at accessing vital resources for green energy transformation, further underscores the significance of these resources on the global stage. Lithium, a crucial mineral for modern technologies like smartphone and electric vehicle batteries, is prominently featured. Ukraine boasts substantial lithium reserves, though concrete figures remain undisclosed. Russia's interest in Ukrainian lithium deposits, including one under Russian occupation and another near the front line, indicates its desire to control this strategic resource. However, challenges such as higher mining costs and geopolitical risks make the feasibility of lithium mining in Ukraine uncertain. The report also mentions other resources like rare earths, graphite, and titanium. While Russia controls some of Ukraine's rare earth and graphite deposits, others remain under Ukrainian control. Ukraine's potential to become a major titanium supplier is highlighted, with the country already producing a significant portion of the world's titanium. In conclusion, the news report delves into Russia's strategic intent to exploit Ukraine's natural resources, particularly iron ore, coal, and minerals like lithium, graphite, and titanium. The occupation of key mining regions by Russian forces has led to a decline in Ukraine's resource exports, impacting its industrial production and economy. Russia's actions align with its broader foreign policy goals of gaining control over vital resources, both for economic and geopolitical advantage.